Okay, so today's video um, is going to be really brief and short because this is the third time I've recorded it and um, I'm not going to be as thorough as I was the first time anyway. <laughs> so this video is um, just a brief introduction to the website feed called Camp, um, the one that I'm going to use in order to learn HTML and CSS uh, and I'm going to be posting videos of me doing um, the different challenges challenges that are um, set up within the website um, so basically the address is freecodecamp.org um, it's this is the main page when you open it and this is what it looks like and then you just press the big yellow button start coding it's free and um, you will have to create a new account because I've already have an account I'm gonna go and sign in or here whichever you prefer with email okay obviously I don't know my password there it is this is not a picture of my friends <laughs> it's a picture of I guess the, the team at free Gold camp um, so basically when you open this say the first page you come into um, and this is the introduction to the website is basically the first challenge because the website is structured like so um, it has different challenges that you complete and each challenge is basically something new you learn about HTML or CSS um, and you you have the theory then you have to do an exercise and if you do it correctly you pass this challenge and move on to the next one uh, but the first one is just basically getting to know the website and the system and what it's all about. Uh, so this is basically the first page. Um, you have an introduction to the people who created it, uh, some more information about it. Um, not really relevant, so I'm not going to stay too much on this one. It says that you will be able to contribute to open source projects in order to um, make sure you've done right and you learn everything so this is the first challenge I've completed and after every challenge you get this pop-up window which has um, a very uh, a very nice line at the top usually one that is very encouraging bring that rain whatever it means um, and there's a button saying submit and go to my next challenge you go to the next challenge uh, so this is the first challenge, but I'm going to use this window in order to get you introduced to what happens on that website. And I'm, I'm going to do that because in the following videos I'm not going to take too much time to explain what is where. I'm just going to go through them. So basically if, you've, um, if you know where to look and what to look for, it's, much, it's going to be much easier because I'm honestly not going to take too much time. No explaining or whatever I'm just going to do the challenges if you want to follow with me and if you don't want to do them yourself just watch me do it so basically the, the screen is divided into three sections one two three the first one on the left it shows you the theory uh, that you're going to learn during this challenge and at the bottom it has usually the task you need to do uh, in order to complete it here it says that to pass the test on the challenge change your h1 element to text um, then below that you have four buttons and they appear on every screen on every challenge you have run test which means after you've done your challenge when you press that you see if you've done correctly um, reset your code if you haven't done it correctly or you've made a huge mess of the code I just press reset your code and start from the beginning get a hint and ask for help on the forum and below that you have the task split up into separate elements here you have only one element but you see within the next challenges you have a few elements you need to complete correctly in order to move on then the middle section is basically your workstation this is where you actually do the challenge actually do the task that it says here so here you have to do h1 says hello and you have to change it to hello world 
so this is what we're going to do and on the right hand side um, there is a visualization of the code how it will look like on a certain device I guess I guess they've chosen a mobile device because this looks like a smartphone and you can see it in real time it changes you see I mean you remove a letter and instantly there's no letter on the right side so that's basically it um, the top line you don't really need to know too much about it if you're just going to follow me doing the challenges but if you decide to do it yourself um, there's the community here you go to the forum there's a map this is a very nice feature because um, the map shows you all the different challenges you can see I've already done a few um, so you have collapsible elements HTML and CSS it says it usually takes four hours to complete and then you have the different challenges so you can come back to each one of them and um, just to to remind yourself what you've done and what you've learned and then there's the rest of them the ones that you need to complete in order to continue and then there's the next section responsive design etc etc and if you click on one of the challenges it will take you straight to it I'm not gonna do that now though you can donate of course because it's an open source project and then you have on the, the number here it says how many challenges you've completed when you press it you come to the screen um, and there's some stuff you can do with your account but the most important thing is here you have a calendar which shows when you've done the most of the work you can see there's different shades of green depending on when you've done most work um, the ones I've already done I've done in one day so basically there's just one square and then here you have the different challenges the date when you've completed them if you've update, updated them and um, you can have a look at the solutions um, just again to remind yourself what you've done so yeah basically that's it um, I hope it's interesting for you I hope uh, you get to learn something from it um, I sure hope I will <laughs> so um, hope you enjoyed the journey with me okay bye bye